15th and it is beautiful. I spent the morning um, meeting with our contact teacher and getting the kids' ILPs set out for the year. We're going to have a great year. Alex will be a junior and be doing American History and American Lit and Stacia will be in eighth grade. She's going to do a couple of high school courses as well as um, he history of the Eastern Hemisphere and some lit that goes along with that. So that was very productive. Came home and Stacia had cleaned the home, house. Um, I don't think I can. Alex has been busy just mowing. So I want to hurry and get a little bit of baking done that we're trying to get done for tonight. And then see if I can get out there and get one of the beds planted in the garden. Couple baking projects going on can only mean one thing. Life groups tonight. What are you making, Stacia? Cherry cobbler. Cherry cobbler. And I am putting together some cinnamon muffins with streusel and we'll have other yummies too, huh? Did you forget this was just supposed to be video footage with no talking? <laughs> Girls like their watermelon. Look at that. They took it down. And evidently it's 72 degrees and they must think it's hot because they're staying inside. But I can guarantee they'll be out at 10 o'clock tonight. Working to treat train them. And they seem to have caught the idea because they were very happy to see me today. We'll see if they'll go to come in when it's nighttime. Oh yum. <laughs> Are you keeping grandma from working in the garden? Huh? Are you? I bet he would like the chicken cereal. He's going to be my chicken helper. So they have started working feverishly on the next project. And this is going to be our watermelon tomato house, otherwise known as a greenhouse. Wind. Yes. You have to have a strong foundation where the wind is going to take it over to uh, the Mexico River. Do you think once you get it done, I can sit in it in the winter and have a hot, humid, warm, yes, I do. sunny spot? Yes! We could put the hot tub in a greenhouse. Yes, we could. <laughs> Bella! <laughs> we have little Bella footprints through the garden. <laughs> She's as bad as the moose, <laughs> but she's a whole lot cuter. <laughs> Decided to start the beds by putting some manure in them because my reasoning is that should heat up the soil if there's a layer at the bottom between the ground and the dirt we put inside. Because the stuff we planted out here all died because it was too hot. So here I am in the manure pits again. I brought a couple loads of horse manure over and spread it thinly in here. And now we're gonna try and fill it up the rest of the way with dirt from that little hill over there. Bunch of uh, potting soil we made with peat moss and perlite. And so I'm gonna bring some of that down and mix it with this too, cause this ground is really heavy and that should help lighten it up a bit, I think. Oh, what do you think about all this work? Don't feel bad about not doing my exercises this week, that's for sure. <laughs> so I'm gonna go get dinner in the oven and you get another load. We're just filling it up. We didn't get everything done we wanted to get done today, but we got a lot done. We'll finish the greenhouse probably tomorrow or the next day. And Stacia and I still have quite a bit of dirt we need to get into the beds, but we are making progress. 
Life Group was really good tonight. Six weeks ago, Mike talked. We've been doing a series at church, which are answers, um, but they're done kind of in a jeopardy way. I don't know. I can't explain this real well, but since Mike's sermon title was, Because Life Isn't Fair. The takeaway there is love forgives, and he was looking at it from God's perspective, that things have not been very fair for God, if you think about it in those terms, and that love forgives. God has forgiven us. And in Life Group, we talked about that. If we really believed that, then what would be, how would we live? And so we talked about how do you live forgiven? And this week, Pastor said because life isn't fair part two and talked about how we are to forgive each other and that is really how you live forgiven is you forgive others so it was a great discussion tonight as we kind of hashed out what forgiveness is how it uh, how we forgive like Christ forgave and what's what difference that'll make in our life so really good and uh, it was fun to see people stay afterwards visit a little bit more than usual so things are starting to gel and uh, that was exciting uh, for a lot long time probably the first few months there were just Mike and I and another couple here and we're up to uh, when everybody comes we're up to 15 we had 13 tonight 14 last night or last week so certainly makes discussion a little livelier and uh, it's a lot of fun but now everybody's in bed Oh yes, the chickens. The chickens came right in. It didn't take very long with some grub and uh, a little chicken noise and a little treat bucket and they figured it out. So that, that's pretty exciting. No more chasing them around for half an hour, 40 minutes out in the yard before I can get them down at midnight. So that's the end of this day.